Hello everyone. Welcome to Graphic Designers Workshop. Let us create a hole in the head photo manipulation example in Photoshop. So, let us start. image of a bald person we will first remove the background so I will be using magic eraser tool and simply remove the background so once you remove the background so the next step uh, we have to do is I have imported an image of a hollow pot a broken pot so I will just use the lasso tool and only select uh, the broken portion of this pot so we can use lasso tool or we can use pen tool and only we will select this much right so then we will use the move tool and simply drag this portion into this image and we will scale it down right so the next thing we will do is uh, we will try to uh, increase the size of this document simply hit C on the keyboard to activate the crop tool and increase the size of this document right so we can give some name to this uh, document so we'll just save it on our desktop and we will uh, keep the name uh, photo manipul manipulation example right so it's always a good habit to save your document with a proper name right so the next thing we are supposed to do is We'll first uh, flip this image of this pot, right? And then we'll select the uh, person's layer, and then uh, we will just create a cut here. So we'll use a lasso tool and simply create a cut. So we'll just hit Control X and Control shift v right then we will just keep it a little bit uh, away and uh, then we will try to uh, take a portion of this spot and add it over this person's head so that it looks like uh, there is some hole in the head so what we are going to do is let me uh, scale it a little bit so we'll just take just this hollow region here by using the lasso tool just we'll uh, select uh, this much portion here right so then uh, we'll again cut and then we'll again use control shift v we'll delete this part then first thing we'll do is we'll try to adjust it over this person's head here uh, then what we'll do is we'll first flip it so simply right click and uh, we'll say uh, flip horizontal and then we'll try to adjust it um, over this person's head here so we'll also do a flip vertical or oh, sorry uh, we'll just uh, try to keep it here and we can use this warp tool here so this warp tool appears only if you if we activate the transform tool so we'll activate the warp tool here and then we'll try to adjust this over his head so 
simply adjust it properly so we can make it a little bit flat here something like this so we have to be a little bit patient here right so once you are done uh, simply hit the tick mark here right so then uh, what we can do is we'll just uh, add the same thing for this top uh, part of the head so we'll just take a duplicate of this control j and then we'll just add it for the duplicate part and we'll first flip it here and we will try to adjust it we'll also flip a horizontal and then we have to actually uh, flip vertical here okay right this is correct and we'll do the same thing we'll try to adjust it uh, by using the warp tool yes. so again activate the transform tool so that the warp tool will be active and simply adjust it properly so just uh, we have to adjust it uh, in such a way that it looks like a hole So once we have adjusted uh, this, so the next thing we'll do is, so we'll make the ho hollow region of this uh, pot a little bit dark. So what we'll do is, we'll first select this this one, and then uh, we'll just apply a curves adjustment for this, and we'll make sure that it only the curves is only targeting this hole. So we'll just make it into a clipping mask just by clicking on this button and then we will just uh, make it a little bit dark so you can see the change. Don't make it too dark, a little, little bit dark, right. So now you can see the uh, hollow area becoming a little bit dark. So we'll do the same thing for the top part so again I will take one more curves adjustment layer and we will target only the hollow area and then we will just create a point over this curve in the mid tone area and the, then we will just simply drag it a little bit down so now we can see it's a little bit dark right and we can slightly adjust this pot uh, by activating the transform tool and then we'll just uh, make it uh, a little bit outside here right right so now the next step we are supposed to do is we will actually uh, merge some of the layers so we will actually merge this bottom part uh, or uh, let us not merge uh, let us group it because if we merge once again uh, we will be losing the original layers actually so we will group it so simply hit ctrl G so we can say uh, the bottom part here and then uh, we will also do the same thing so I think uh, we have uh, uh, let me wait a minute okay we have actually included the top part here so we'll remove the top part and keep it over here 
right so then we will group all the top parts of the head so simply select all the three layers and then hit control G and we can say top part right so the next thing we can do is uh, we can actually uh, tilt the top part a little bit something like this right right so now uh, we'll select both these uh, layers and then we will try to scale them and keep it keep them over here right so to make it more interesting what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a image of a brain and I will put the brain inside this head right so just simply uh, import the image of a brain I have already downloaded it so now what I will do is first I am going to remove the background so we'll select the magic eraser tool and click on the background so that we'll only uh, see the brain now we'll drag this brain onto this document and uh, close this uh, close the document we'll also close this document right so the next thing we'll do is we'll try to put the brain inside this hole so we'll keep it over here And then uh, the next thing we'll do is we'll try to uh, put the brain inside the hole. It should look as if the brain is coming out of the hole. So for that we will first uh, apply a mask to this brain layer. So this is a mask and then I will select the brush tool. I am going to select a soft rounded brush and we will reduce the size of the brush by using a right square bracket or oh, sorry left square bracket okay then uh, we will take a black color as a foreground and we will erase the bottom part of this brain right so then we'll just zoom it and uh, we will try to uh, paint white color here so so that the bottom part of this brain shows up actually right so something like this right so then what we'll do is uh, we'll try to get the image of a hand okay so we'll just import the image of a hand right and then first thing is I will remove the background so we only want hand here and simply drag the hand onto this image let's rotate it and also let us flip it just keep it over here so we have to uh, put the hand in such a way that it looks as if the hand is stealing the brain. Right. So we can actually rotate the top part a little bit. 
something like this right we can also adjust the brain a little bit something like this um, we can actually adjust it properly and here again we will erase the some part of the brain we will just select the black color as foreground right and then we will try to uh, adjust it over here by selecting the white color So we have to carefully paint here at the bottom. If not, it will not look uh, realistic. Right. So now it looks nice. Right. So the next thing we'll do is uh, we'll try to give some uh, brownish coloring or a little bit of dark coloring to the hand actually. The hand is looking uh, too uh, white actually. So what we'll do is simply we'll uh, use this uh, adjustment which is vibrance and then we'll try to make it as a clipping mask so that it affects only the hand, the hand layer. We'll try to try to increase the vibrance here and we will also increase the saturation now it looks a little bit brownish right so we can adjust it a little bit right so the next step is uh, we will again come back to the uh, image of this person and we will use a lasso tool here we want some extra part of the, his body so that it that is looking transparent so we'll apply a black color to this so here also we can just uh, use the lasso tool and apply black color right so something like this okay just a little bit right so the last thing we'll do is uh, we'll create one background and we'll create a white color background right and we will also put a caption here so that is uh, we'll just make it a little bit uh, small here the text will uh, reduce the size of the text and then we'll say uh, we'll increase it a little bit and then we'll say don't let anyone steal your ideas So this is uh, something very much useful for us because we don't want our ideas to be stolen by others, right? So the next thing is patent yourself or we can say patent your works. So something which is uh, very much important in today's world you can keep it here right so the last thing we'll do is we'll export it so we'll save it as a jpeg file so file 
save as and uh, we will save it as a jpeg file so we'll keep it in our one of our drives steal your ideas so then we will save it and then we'll try to check our file so this is our file so this is a very uh, simple uh, photo manipulation example i hope you like it please do subscribe like share and if you have anything to say do comment see you again